Hey Guitar Heroes, your Guitar Sage here. Today we're going to learn how to play Firecracker by Josh Turner. It's a really cool, um, what we call a tempo in the country world, a tempo country song. And it's really easy. Um, we're going to, using our, using our basic chords, G, C, D, um, looking at my chart here, so for those of you that have tracked along with me before, um, you know the routine. I'll be reading the chart and I'll be playing through the bits and pieces of this song. I'll be telling you how to play it. Um, chords and strumming, that sort of thing. So you can easily just pick up an acoustic guitar and start playing it. Okay. So first off, we're going to capo this at the 4th fret. If you don't have a capo, go get it. Uh, capo at the 4th fret. And um, here are going to be the, the chords that we're going to use for this. So um, G, D, A, and C. That's the only four chords that you need to know to play this tune. And the basic strumming pattern for this tune is a one, two, three, and four. 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 Okay, so um, if I don't mention the strumming pattern from here on out, that's what's that's what it's going to be. I might try to work it with you a little bit, but basically, um, you know, for the one and two, you're going to down strum, and for the three. And four, you'll down strum also, but the ands you'll strum up. So it's like one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. And. Okay. Um, all right. So let's jump into um, let's jump into this. So I'm not going to play the entire song all the way through because there's a lot of repetition in the song, a lot of G's. Um, so, but it's going to go something like this. The, the intro is going to be like... Um, and it plays the G for 12 measures in the beginning, okay? So, um, it'll be like... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's four measures. We're doing a total of 12 measures in the intro, okay? Now the verse is going to go So you saw me stop there, right? So let me let me tell you what the chords are. Um, in the intro, well, by the way, let me stop real quick. For those of you that have the ebook um, thank you for buying it. For those of you that don't, go get it because it's going to help with learning these songs. Okay? Otherwise, you're going to be jotting down all these chords. Um, the ebook teaches you all sorts of stuff about strumming and chords and how to read charts and stuff. It's invaluable. I won't go into it for my uh, subscribers that are always um, logging in and have the book already. I don't want to bore you. But if you don't have it, go get it. You're missing out, kids. Um, okay, so here are the chords. Intro. 12 bars of G. Okay, so the song's in four. One, two, three, four. That's a bar. Do that 12 times to the intro. Then when you start singing, that's the verse. The verse is gonna say is gonna be eight bars of G, two part, two bars of D, two part, two bars. I'm not sure if I'm golfing or playing guitar here. Par. Bar. Alright? Two bars of D and two bars of Two bars of G for the love of Pete. Good night. Okay, so the the verse is a total of twelve bars. So here here's the verse again. One, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's a D. Nine, ten, twelve. So really for that, um, let's see. 8, 9, 10, 11th, 11th measure, you're going to hit the G, what we call a staccato note. So you hit it and either mute with the left hand. What I do is I hit the chord and I slightly lift my fingers up to kill the chord. You can do it with the right hand too. You can go and take your, take your right hand and, and press on the strings like that. Okay, good. All right, so intra or the turnaround, which is after the verse, is four measures of G, same feel. The verse, same as the last, nothing different. Then we have, after the second verse, we have two bars of G. Nothing different, same feel. 
Um, let's talk about the chorus. The chorus is going to go like this. Two measures of C, and I'll play it in a minute. Two measures of C, two measures of G, four measures of C, measure of A, two measures of D, one measure of G, one two-beat measure of G. Yes, it goes into a two-beat measure. Then two measures of C at, at four apiece. Measure of G, one measure of D that's only two beats long, and then two more measures of G. I know, very confusing, right? Yes, please don't email me and ask me for the chords because I have the chords available on the, uh, on the chart. So go to yourguitarstage.com and uh, uh, get the ebook and uh, I'll get you the chart, okay? So, um, it, the chorus is going to go something like this. One, two, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Josh Turner, but I don't even know the lyrics of this tune, but it's a fun tune. I like the melody. I'm a melody guy. I'm not so much a lyrics guy, unless it's a song that I'm performing, so sorry if I just offended you and sang the melody instead of the lyrics. Okay, so again, um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my course here. I'm going to do this slowly because we've got a little catchy thing, a little a little twist in there, and that's that, that measure, well, there's two measures of two beats. Okay, we said in the intro of this tune that or maybe if I, I did, I might not have, but the song's in four. Almost every song's in four. That means one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's not the strum, that's the count, what you would do when you're counting the song, like a drummer would do. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It means he's hitting the snare on the two and the four. Four, one, two, three, four. So we, as musicians, we count as we're playing a song, right? So the song is in four, but we have in, in the choruses, we've got two actual measures that are only two beats a piece, and it there's kind of, it kind of causes like a little uh, hiccup, if you will, a little uh, change in the in the flow of the tune. So I'm going to play it slowly, and you'll you'll hear it here. So it's going to go. Uh, so this is the top of the chorus. It's one, two, three. <laughs> There, we're gonna go one measure of G and then two beats of G. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You get it? Kind of weird, but you'll, you'll get it with some practice. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the last four measures do the same thing except it changes the chord um, to do a D. So one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. If you're not counting, if you can't count that, then you probably won't be playing it correctly. Because somewhere along the line, your brain has to make sense of this extra two beats in there. Okay, some of you, um, it's not going to be an issue at all because you've been playing longer. But for those of, for those out there, those newbies, let's let's be nice and let's let's make this easy for them. You were there at one point too, so let's let's be kind here. Okay, kids, let's just love each other, play guitar. Okay. All right, so that's the that's the chorus, and then um, we got two beats of G in between the first chorus and the last verse, which is also known as the third verse in this song. So the chorus that we just did, two bars of G, and then the verse again, which is the same as the other verses. Okay, we're running out of time here, I'm seeing, so we got a minute to wrap it up. After the third verse, you got chorus, solo, and chorus. And dead gone it on my chart here, I don't have what the solo is, but my guess is, because I don't have it written down, that it's the same as the chorus. 
So, go ahead and play the chorus over it, and my guess would be it's the same. It's going to be either the verse or the chorus. For some reason, I didn't write it down here, but it's not going to, it's not going to be anything different. Otherwise, I would have changed, I would have written it here. Um, okay, guys, that's it for this tune. Um, if Again, if you need the chart, go to yourguitarsage.com, and, um, and, and I've got a description there on how to do that. And then also, if you haven't already, go get the ebook. I'm telling you, it's going to help you out so much. It's going to be the best $10 you spend in your life. Yes. All right, um, go hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for stopping by. I keep checking out the videos, trying to put um, at least one up a week. Try to put them up every day, but um, you know how life goes. So um, keep checking back and keep practicing. See you soon. Bye.